Aries. This will happen in the next 48 hours for August the 28th through August the 29th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for August the 28th through August the 29th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries. For August the 28th through August the 29th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries. For August the 28th through August the 29th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Aries. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Aries, these are your cards, honey. So, Aries, you have the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So, Aries, listen, you can tell me that you guys are having this communication. You can tell me that you've come into some truth and clarity. You can tell me that you're making a decision or you're using this sword to sever. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Aries. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Aries. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Aries. It is clarified with the Three of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is you waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for what you set your intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of you looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that your ships are here. You can tell me that you're looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand or even travel. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that, you know, you're making a decision to wait here. Aries, you could be having this communication here because you're expecting something here to come in. Aries, you can tell me that you're making a decision to use this sword to sever and to look to see what else is out there. Could also be a decision concerning traveling here. We'll see. Aries, you have the four swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. Clarify the Four of Swords for Aries. Clarify the Four of Swords for Aries. Clarify the Four of Swords for Aries. It is clarified with the Five of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about something or some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama is taking place here. Now, Aries, you can tell me that maybe you're conflicted within about making a decision. You're meditating on it and you're waiting, okay? However, you can tell me that you guys had some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama, and this is the reason why you're on a break. You may have used this sword to sever and you feel like, hey, I should just look to see what else is out there. Aries, you have the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something, to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So Aries, listen, this can be about your money, assets, resources, abundance. 
very well could be that someone has commitment on the brain but in tarot tens are ending so it could be an ending to you guys as commitment marriage living together situation or family dynamics clarify the ten of pentacles but aries clarify the ten of pentacles but aries clarify the ten of pentacles but aries it is clarified with the queen of swords gemini libra aquarius this queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So Aries could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this queen of swords and cutting something out. Also with the queen of swords, this can be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Aries. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Aries. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Aries. It is clarified with the Five of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that something is going on financially, maybe some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup here. Now Aries, are you severing as the queen of swords here over finances, money, assets, resources, property, because you were expecting something here. There's some type of lack and it may have caused an argument. Aries, you can tell me that you're cutting something off here and breaking up with you guys' commitment here. Going on a break, did you guys have a fight or are you just conflicted within about it? Aries, you have the king of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication and this is about making a decision. So Aries could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius or someone with air prominent in their charts. However... You could be taking on the energy of this King of Swords, coming forth with truthful communication or making a decision. Clarify the King of Swords for Aries. Clarify the King of Swords for Aries. Clarify the King of Swords for Aries. It is clarified with you, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, the Queen of Wands. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. So Aries, this is you. Clarify the queen of wands for Aries. Clarify the queen of wands for Aries. What about Aries? What about Aries? Clarify the queen of wands for Aries. It is clarified with the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately. Rushing in with the spark of a new idea. Rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication. Exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So Aries, listen, you can tell me there's a rush to do something. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Aries. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Aries. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Aries. It is clarified with the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. 
So Aries, you're telling me that everything has come to a screeching halt? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles by Aries. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles by Aries. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles by Aries. It is clarified with the Two of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? So Aries, listen, you're telling me that you're at a crossroads, needing to decide, needing to pick a path here. So as the King of Swords, you're needing to make a decision, a decision here, Aries. Now, Aries, either there's this rushing in, going off, going hand passionately with a heated discussion or argument over you guys' commitment here or with your practicality here. And maybe there's stagnation taking place because of it, okay? Maybe just I'm, I'm done with this job or I'm done with this commitment here, okay? We'll see. Aries, you have the Nine of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone in my own right am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So Aries, you can tell me that you're independently abundant on your own or you're single. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles by Aries. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles by Aries. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles by Aries. It is clarified with the Nine of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Aries, you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. Now, Aries, listen, I feel like you're bothered by the fact that maybe something is going on with your coins. You're worried about your abundance here or you're stressing over whether or not you're becoming single here because it seems like you're needing to make a decision whether to go stagnant with this person and end things and cut things off here. So you're worried about your stability, financial stability or commitment. I'm going to look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you, Aries. And so, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. I think this is what you're saying, Aries. I feel like you have to let something go. If that's what's stressing you, you know you're going to have to let something go, Aries. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. I'm going to take a look at the Lover's Oracle for you, Aries. <clears throat> so, I'm sorry, Sacred Union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. Sacred union, honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. Hmm. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Aries, this will happen in the next 48 hours for August the 28th through August the 29th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment and share and follow me on twitter at her immortal madge m-a-j and i'll see you guys next week peace